This story is about a samurai who meets a storyteller. There once was in ancient Japan an old storyteller making his way across the countryside. He was the master of his craft, but he was old. And as he was walking along, he noticed the sun was beginning to set, and he knew from the aches in his bones and the grumbling in his stomach that he was going to have to find a place to rest that night. And more important, a meal. Ah, the prayers, his prayers have been answered. There at the end of the road is a dojo, a school where all the young aspiring samurai would come and study with the master swordsman. And he knew that the tradition was that you could go to a dojo and earn a meal and lodging for the night by having a duel with one of the young students with a wooden sword. But he also knew what a duel would mean to his old body. Ah, he made his way up to the door and knocked. And a young samurai answered, Why, good evening, grandfather. What can we do for you tonight? I am here to challenge the master of this school. <laughs> well, grandfather, you do look like you needed a meal and a... Uh, well, uh, how about one of our first-year students? No, I am here to challenge the master. All right, then. What about one of our second-year students? No, I am here. I insist on a duel with the master. Well, the storyteller was issued into the training hall where all the young students were, and they were all amazed at this frail old storyteller who had challenged their master. You see, to challenge the master meant you had a duel with steel blades. And it was a duel to the death. The master was sent for. This samurai had a reputation through all of Japan as a great samurai warrior. And he came into the hall in his robes, in his obi was his beautiful katana, his beautiful samurai sword. He stood and bowed to the storyteller. He indicated to a student that a sword should be brought to the storyteller. And the storyteller took the sword and laid it at his feet. I accept your challenge. Pick up your weapon and let us begin. And he took his stance, and the storyteller began to speak. He said, Once, a, a long time ago, there was a small village next to a beautiful stream at the foot of a mighty mountain. And at the end of the path, there was a cottage where an old man lived. Every day, this male man would go to the edge of the stream and sit and, and listen to the little fish. He would listen as they told him all the stories of the places they had been and the people they had met and the stories from those people. And then the old man would go down to the village and meet with his friends and tell them all of his new stories why they drank their tea. And you see, in this way, you have defeated me. Oh, the students were, what, what do you mean? What, how, how could he have, what, he didn't, he didn't raise, he didn't even pick up his sword. Silence. Silence. 
How many times have I told you that to win in battle, you must stay in the presence. You must stay in the moment. This man took me away to places far away and long ago. He could have slain me at will. And so it is with all people who tell tales and stories from their heart, and to all of us who listen. Thank you.